In today's video, I will show how you can scrape anything in the easiest way on N8N. And when I say anything, I mean it. You can scrape Facebook posts, Facebook group posts, Twitter posts, YouTube videos, Apollo leads, uh, TikTok videos, Google Maps leads, basically pretty much anything with this kind of setup. And if you look at my screen, you can see that there are only three nodes uh, in the setup and one of them is a manual trigger and another is a Google Sheet to store the data but the magic happens in this particular node HTTP request uh, node and to actually make this work I am using appify.com and uh, if you're not familiar with appify.com so this is uh, basically like an app store for scrapers so if you log in into Appify, create your account, you'll notice that they have over 4,000 pre-built uh, scrapers or they call them actors. Uh, so they have a scraper basically for anything. Uh, just from this uh, screen, you can see they have scrapers for uh, website content crawling, TikTok scrapers, Google Maps scrapers, uh, Cheerio scrapers, Instagram scrapers, um, and many things more. So. Now I'm gonna show you how you can very quickly set up uh, such scraper in your own workflow. So let's go back into N8N. Uh, I'm gonna start a new workflow in my personal workspace. Again, over here, I'm just gonna select a manual trigger uh, because that's the simplest way. And over here, I'm gonna choose a HTTP request uh, node. Oh, I just made their mistake. HTTP request node. Uh, so with this node, we're going to be making a request to AppFi to access any of the available scrapers that they have. So now I need to configure the URL and the method and actually the body of the HTTP requests. So for that, I'm going to head back over to uh, AppFi. And for this one, I'm going to use a Google Maps scraper as an example. So right now we're going to be scraping uh, Google Maps uh, businesses that are available on Google Maps. And as you can already see, I've used this before. So actually set up some uh, previous search terms for what I want to scrape. So last time when I was using this, I was uh, looking for lawyer businesses in Thousand Oaks. So these were the filters that I used. Uh, as well, I set the maximum number of places I want to extract 10 just as a test run, but you can add, you know, thousands of these uh, and scrape a lot of them. However, um, you actually have to keep in mind that you still have to pay some uh, money for it. So uh, this scraper uh, allows you to pay for usage. And right now I have like $5 of free credits and everyone gets those uh, $5 for free. So you can actually use that to scrape the leads for free until you reach that $5 limit. Uh, over here, there are more um, filters that you can enable uh, to your scraper. You can extract questions. Uh, you can define search, uh, search area by other geolocation parameters and so on. So different filters on Appify are gonna be different uh, for different scrapers. So just keep that in mind. But how do we set up that HTTP request? So now I'm going to go onto the right side of the screen and I'm going to click on API endpoints. Over here, this is going to provide me the endpoints that I need to use to start scraping. And I'm just going to scroll down and there's going to be an endpoint for run actor synchronously and get data set items. All I have to do is remember that this uses the method post and copy this endpoint. Now I'm going to head back over to N8N then what I'm going to do is paste that endpoint in the URL. Then I need to configure the method to post like so. And now I need to insert the body. So I'm going to enable send body. Uh, content type is going to be JSON. And here I'm going to uh, like specific body select using JSON like so. Now I'm going to head back over to Appify. I'm going to click X on here and the area where I configured all of the filters, uh, as you can see, it has manual. So you manually can configure those filters, then head over to the JSON and this will provide all of those filters configured in a JSON format. All I have to do here is uh, copy the whole JSON, head back over to the Appify 
and paste it like so. Uh, and pretty much we've configured the HTTP request for Appify. If you wanna make sure that it works, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna exit it out and I'm gonna hit test workflow. As you can see, the manual trigger fired and now we are essentially scraping the data. So if I'm gonna go back to Appify, you can actually see that memory over here increase. So you were using four gigabytes of memory to run the scraper in the background. Um, and right now it is basically going into Google Maps in Thousand Oaks area and are extracting at least 10 businesses uh, that fall under this search term of lawyer. Now, what we have to do is wait a bit for this to finish scraping. Of course, it has to go into the Google Maps, extract all of the details and get that data back to us. So if you're scraping a lot of data, let's say hundreds, thousands, uh, tens of thousands of uh, businesses, leads, uh, then it's gonna take a while. But I'm gonna uh, come back when it's finished. So the scraper finished running. As you can see, we got 10 items. That means 10 businesses. You can see the names on here. And actually for this, I prepared a separate Google sheet where I have business name, business type, address, website, phone number, review score, and total reviews as uh, column uh, values. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna add all of that data into Google Sheets. So let me find Google Sheets here. Uh, select append uh, row in sheet. Now I just have to select my, uh, basically, uh, the sheet that I have here. Okay, and it's gonna load the columns. So now all I have to do is drag and drop the values. So the business name, I select the title. Uh, the business type, it's gonna be uh, category name. The address, so it's gonna be the address. The website, uh, let me see, here's the website. Then the phone number is gonna be over here. Review score, uh, total score. And total reviews is gonna be review count, like so. And now, as you can see, we have uh, that Google Sheet completely empty. I'm gonna hit test step. And now it's gonna add those 10 uh, businesses into the Google Sheet. If I come back, you can see all of the business information was extracted. I have the business name, I have uh, the business type, so attorney, law firm, personal injury attorney, divorce lawyer, I have their address, I have their website, I have their phone number, I have their review score, and I have total reviews. So I can do a lot of different things now with this information and essentially with a three-step workflow in NA10, I'm capable to scrape any uh, information on the web. Instagram posts, Facebook uh, posts, Facebook group posts, uh, YouTube videos, Apollo leads, basically pretty much anything. And then, for example, if I hit test workflow, it's going to continue uh, all over again and it's going to extract 10 uh, other businesses and going to add that into the Google Sheet and append those rows below. So as you can see, a pretty easy and straightforward way to scrape anything on the web with Appify. So if you enjoyed watching this video, hit a like on this video, hit subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next one.